Thank you, Holly. It's a very warm welcome now to actors Lisa Chappell and Jordan Mooney. They are in to tell us all about the upcoming world premiere of Eli Kent's play, Pier Gint Recycled. It's presented in association with the Auckland Arts Festival. Welcome, Lisa and Jordan. Yeah, yeah. Yay, thanks for having us. First up, I must say, Pier Gint. I thought Pier Gint was an opera or something. Oh, you've got... Yeah, that's never going to leave you now. That was a piece of music that Greg did for the original production in eight. Was it 1860? Yeah, well, so 150 years ago this year. So it must have been. Ibsen wrote like this epic five-hour poem, and that was the music that was. Our show's not five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Do not panic. I was getting a little bit flustered then thinking no. about that. Oh, wow. So, so the, this is, you're performing a play that's been around for years and years and years in. But Eli Kent, this wonderful New Zealand writer, has done this really fresh adaptation. He's kind of made it relevant for now. It's got lots of great pop culture references that only you young people will understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's throwing fireworks at it, eh? The yeah. whole thing's kind of just gone bang. And it's so relevant because it was kind of a journey on self-discovery and narcissism and I mean let's face it we're in the most narcissistic mm. period oh, yeah. in time so it's really relevant for now and a little crazy definitely a little crazy <laughs> <All things, laughs> off kilt at sometimes it's nice and surreal and Jordan uh, clearly you are playing Pierre Gint yep one yep. of the incarnations yes there are many many people playing Again. Okay, cool. We all play multiple characters. Like we have about six or seven each. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, you know, uh, is he quite self-obsessed? Absolutely. How did you feel when you got cast in that role? Uh, <laughs> well, the director said that I was perfectly cast. Typecasting, I think yeah. he said. I think I played the beautiful version of Pierre. Oh, so that's true. He does. So you play Pierre again. So what yes. are you? What are you playing, Lisa? I'm playing what a we... dying mother, another mother, a troll, a soulless woman, mm -hmm. and. Um, Terry Richardson, a dodgy photographer oh, with a very goodness. realistic penis. Ooh. And my boobies out. Wow. It's the first. I think you've just got a whole lot of Not people going, right, where do I sign up for tickets for this show? It sounds amazing. <laughs> yes. Because it's based on a Norwegian fairy tale. It is. So it's a really surreal exploration and we've got an amazing set in the brand new theatre down at the waterfront. So have a drink beforehand at the bar. Come and watch this epic, epic play, which is hilarious. And we, we're just having a romp. Are you really. fascinated? I am. I, <laughs> I know, you look mesmerised. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that's what the night will be like. Yeah, no, well, that's good. That's yeah. a good time. Because like, you mixed with party at the same time. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Get me some tickets. OK, um, Jordan, is it true? I heard that you didn't actually go to drama school. Most of the guests we have on here that are doing <laughs> plays yeah, I learned everything that I know in Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> is it, so is that what happened? Did you not go to drama school? No, no. How did you get started? Uh, well, I first moved in 2009, and then I contacted Auckland Theatre Company, did a few shows as much as I could, and just kind of hit the ground running. Nice. But I never wanted to either. I kind of felt like it was my thing as well. I didn't want to be told what to do. Sometimes I'm like, should I have gone to drama school? <laughs> but it's all working out, so I don't think so. So you've taken no lessons or anything, or no sort of you know, no. classes or anything? I've done a few workshops and things here and there, but otherwise just learnt from... People like Lisa. But Lisa, you've taken <laughs> obviously lots of classes in your time? Well, I did, but I did the first 12 years of my career without going to drama school. So I kind of know... Did you? Oh. Yeah, I, I, went, I started at 18 on Gloss and then I trained at 30 over in Sydney. So I kind of know... I, the. You've both worlds, both. yeah. <laughs> no, and, and you know, and clearly uh, both enjoy very successful careers, <laughs> yeah. which is good. Um, what else are you up to at the moment? Because uh, you've got this play. No doubt, it takes a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you got, what, what else have you been doing oh, since look, you've been I'm here? I'm trying to sow some seeds for my television pilot and my series that I've been, you know, writing for a few years. So trying to get that one up, doing a bit of directing, doing some writing. Workshopping this other play, which is uh, well, I'll come and tell you about later. Nice, good. good. <laughs> like having you on the show. You can't talk about what you're doing next day. Ooh. But you've just finished Westside, haven't you? Yes. Yes. And yeah. is, uh, you're here. This yeah, is you. Yeah, this is a leftover or... mullet from Westside. Thank you. Yeah. I was wondering. I was wondering. Can you dig and it? Do you like I, it? I actually kind of do. Yeah. It's working for you. It feels I think it's making a resurgence. From what it looks. Does it feel like a little bit like an animal? Yeah, no. I, no, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's oh, quite yeah. soft. It's quite soft <laughs> compared to. What you'd think. Wait, what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> well, right what along. would you think? Well, actually, good, because we will take a little break, because there's more to find out about this fantastic play and also a great scheme that the Auckland Theatre Company have got underway, which we can tell you more about in just a minute, so you can enjoy some live theatre. Don't go anywhere, we will be back after this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. 
Welcome back. Joining us now, we have Jordan Mooney and Lisa Chappell, and they are here to talk about their brand new play, which is underway very soon at the Auckland Theatre Company's ASB Waterfront Theatre. It's called Pier Gint Recycled, and I want to come back to this uh, because it is recycled. So, what on earth made ATC take this on, Jordan? Well, the play is timelessly relevant, I think. Like, it's about telling lies and telling the truth and self-obsession and self-discovery. So I think Auckland Theatre Company gave it to Eli and they asked him to respond to it. Right. Mm -hmm. So he's just kind of hit it with so much and brought it into our world as well as letting it kind of slip out. Yeah. The actual story, though, is, mm -hmm. it, is it about a trip from... It's an all way through to sort of yeah. Africa. Yeah, and the original, he went all the way around the world, didn't he? Yeah, And yeah. we've kind of, because we can't do five hours, we've, we've you know, well, trapped you could, it a little bit. No one would come and see yeah, it. No one would yeah. come. But we go to Dubai, we go to Norway, we go to America. Um, yeah. We're we, in New Zealand. I think yep. we go to Taranaki. Even. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do. <laughs> and we <laughs> kind of slip in between surrealism and realism the whole time. Is this a play that's going to get people that perhaps have never gone to the theatre in? I to hope see so. It? Yeah, and what would make the young them come? Ones. Well, it's just such a... It's a real festival show. So okay. you go there and you just get something completely different. It's not just kitchen sink realism. It is an epic, yeah, funny, it, it's sexy, wild. Mm. crazy time. And it's got this amazing set in this theatre. And there's 66 costumes. And wow. there's... Uh, about 70 characters. Yeah. Wow. So yeah. you're busy behind You get your money's worth. Very yeah, busy. You do. Um, <laughs> and you keep talking about the young ones, Lisa, like you're old or something. Young ones. <laughs> 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 the young ones. The young ones. Yes. <laughs> under 30, they get to come for 30 bucks. 30, if they're 30 and under, they get to come for 30 bucks. So that's, I, that's a scheme that the Auckland Theatre Company's doing. Yeah, yeah which, which is, is great. Awesome. It's great to, especially with the new theatre as well. Mm. It's great to be offering that to be pulling people in. It's yeah, fantastic. Building a new, younger audience. Yeah. This show's a great starting starting yeah. jumping off point for them because it's just crazy leaf good fun. <laughs> no, and I think the industry's thriving at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is. Just a lot of work on, a lot of good things to go and see mm. and making it cost effective for under 30 is going to get a lot of new bums on seats that we like. And of course, uh, if you didn't hear right at the start of the show, what is it that you have? What is it that you have, Oh, Lisa? are you talking about my penis? Yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, that's <laughs> my boobies me. and my penis. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fascinating. Do you want to talk about that a bit more, Mike? No, no, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's there for I don't want to talk about Lisa's penis anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's so real. It's just ridiculous. So you, it's mesmerising. That's got, enough. You've got, you've, got, you've got a group of school children, well, school age people oh. coming in to see this. So They'll they're, love Lisa's They're going to be over 16, so you're going to really introduce them to the theatre with and everything going. other issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. They'll but go, the this teachers, is the best lesson ever. The teachers came and vetted it, so they know what, what they're coming into. Um, but it's good to do that because sometimes children can grow up if they're not familiar with the theatre, they don't go to it, thinking yeah. it's a bit fuddy duddy and there's not, you yeah. know, what's so yeah. exciting about it? So they've got to see and appreciate what is exciting about it, obviously. And then I think at the end they'll be like, wait, I'm actually thinking a lot about life and what it is to be. But that'll all be discovered oh. through the humour of it, which oh, is good. perfect. Good. And you do a yeah. pre show talk and a post show talk. There's a couple of sessions where people totally. can come along. Can you explain a bit more about how they work? Well, they just, we all, um, the designers, the director, the writer, and all the actors line up on the stage, um, sit down, and we have a really good chat with the audience. Right. So if there's any questions they have, you know, it's, it's really great for the students because. Yeah. A lot of them want to be actors or writers or designers, so they get to get some information and some insights. Nice work. And it's lovely for the punters too, um, who are kind of more experienced theatre goers. Mm. They like to find out about the intricacies and challenge you too. We have some really great debates. Yeah. <laughs> Backing yeah. up why we did it that way, you know, it's awesome. I don't know if I wanted to debate you, Lisa, in the Hannah Theatre. <laughs> I'm learning to drink coffee, not Watch costume. It. <laughs> Definitely not in costume. Yeah. Oh, nice work. Oh, you guys, it's wonderful to have you in the studio. Peer Gint Recycled sounds so much fun. Mm. Yeah. Really, Lisa and Jordan, thank you. Uh, it runs from next Tuesday up until the 18th of March at Auckland's A be Waterfront Theatre, which is in Wynyard Quarter. You can check out the Auckland Theatre Company website for further details.